thought it worked. Ah, I lost my chat. Oh, my pop out. So I'm setting up the live stream. I see there's one watching. I am setting things up. Um. So right now I'm actually making some swim baits. Since uh, I had to make some of a color I already had. But I am going to be making some frog oars. It's a new new uh, mold that we got. That's a floating, flo floating mold as well. Or a floating mold that you would make floating. If that makes any sense. I'm watching the chat too, guys, but um, if you guys talk, there's a chance I won't see it right away. Eileen Velu the fam, how you doing? I was wondering if you were my lurker in the background. So this mold is our trouble mold. Found to be our trouble mold, at least. So that one actually looks good. That's in a uh, purple. It's a fish. Obviously not a frog right now. Just came in. I say I had a lurker. Uh, or still do. I have one in the background that's not talking. <laughs> but I had to make a couple of this color. And I figured I'd use up the bait. Or the plastic that was already mixed up. And this isn't a floating plastic. So I can't really do the frogs on this one. So... Just making those up fast, and then I'll go to the frogs. Got a custom, a couple custom colors I have to make. So I shot quite a few last night. We finally figured out our issue the other day in the live stream. We were trying to do it, and it was um, the humidity was causing it. We think that's at least what we think, because yesterday was a lot cooler. Today's a lot cooler, and we're not having that issue now. So it had to have been something to do with that humidity. Not a problem, Eileen. Not a problem at all. I said I figured I'd jump on and just do the live stream. Uh, some people like watching it later as well, so there's a little bit of watchability as well later. Big simple, we lit. I know how you doing. Great to see you. It's been a little while. Okay, I'll try doing it again. We lit. That's as close as I can get to your we lit. I can't get that high pitched screech. <laughs> That's, it's not even a screech. It's just very high, high pitched. How you doing, Big Simple? How's your Friday going? See, there's the little swim baits. You can kind of see them. They've got the hook hole. So that's kind of nice. If you could share this out, that would be amazing. This is just kind of a pop-up live. I've got to do these anyway. Got an order I've got to fill, and I might as well just do a live stream while I'm doing it. I'm doing pretty good, Big Simple. I'm doing pretty good. We're surviving. Just been ex extremely, extremely busy, but I'm doing pretty good. 
think everyone's been extremely busy, though. Figured I've got to do this anyway. I, I jump on. This is kind of our channel's about what we do as a family. We are doing the adventures. We show what our family does as far as Taekwondo goes, the horseback riding, the fishing and RV or ATV riding. But we also are showing you the process of starting a business. <laughs> Considering we're doing this bait making as part of our business, it's just another thing that we do that we're showing you guys as we go. You're at work big something? Not a problem. Not a problem. See, technically I'm working right now as well. True Rapper J, hello, how you doing? Great to see you. Happy Friday. Got any plans for this weekend? Okay, I'm reheating the plastic. That's the joys. You got the in-betweens. It takes a little while to heat up again and get back to temperature, especially since I'm melting down everything at the moment. Not doing the frogs yet. I'm trying to use up the last of the bait I had of this color. And none of the frogs have to be done in this color, nor are any of the frogs being done non-floating. Yeah, someone stop it. So I had a couple shad I had done. One, one of them, just a little, little swim bait. That's one of our newer baits as well. Newer color. It's an easy day. That's always a good day. Easy is always good. See, I got the chat up on the laptop so I can see it a little bit better because it's hard to see on the phone. Trapper Jay, have at it. Have at it. You know, everyone that's used it so far has had great luck. We've been fishing it out here, and our fishing in Indiana is hit or miss. It's usually not the best. Mike has had some horrible years. Um, this year, he's actually catching more than normal, and everything he has caught has been big. He's caught a lot of nice bass, a lot of his own like personal best in the area, and they've all been on our baits. He hasn't caught anything on any other baits. He's tried other baits, and he's caught nothing. So these are working really well. I don't fish plastics that often, so I've been catching mine on crankbaits, and everything I've caught this year has been like baby bass. They're small. So... <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not catching anything big. But no, we've got a... Uh, he's calling it the... Uh, what is he calling it? Um, mutant green. The sea green, which is like a really, really bright, like... um, Really bright green. And he's calling it mutant green. And that has been the best color so far. Like, he's catching a lot on that color, and it's the weirdest green ever. It's so seriously bright. Actually, this is, this is that green. That's that mutant green color. It's just a very bright color, and that's what he's catching, almost everything he's catching on. Living Yes, hello, how you doing? Kind of guy, but I could use some trailers to... Yeah, we've got some trailers. We've got some of the uh, shads, and we've got some uh, chunk trailers as well. But we've got a couple trailers for sure, so you have to hit us up. Um, you can either email the um, email that's linked on our front profile, or I believe there's also in the description the email for R5 Bates. Yeah, I use a lot of crankbaits. Crankbaits is what I tend to use because I'm not so good with the finesse of those soft plastics. I'm not, like, I don't understand it so well. I never, I used to fish more for, like, northern pike, um, bluegill and stuff when I was a kid. So I've never really fished for bass, and I never really fished a lot of these baits that we use now. So I've never really fished many plastics, so I don't really know how to use them well. So I'm not very good at it. reposition this is the bait that gives us the most trouble this is the huge shad and I think because of the density it just we have more issues with that bait well as far as shooting it without having an issue So 
I'm trying to watch that chat, and it's not easy to do when you're on the phone doing this. Because it's hard to, enough to see the phone as it is, but then it's really hard when you're doing something so you can't fully pay attention to it. <laughs> so if I miss you guys, I'm sorry. We've come to a point where we're trying not to leave a ton of extra of the baits because we had so many bags of these different colors we had mixed up. And it was just getting to be a little bit insane. So we just try to shoot as many baits as we can. We mix up a color so that way it's just used up. And this is a color I had mixed up. This is a newer color I had done. It's a purple with gold, silver, and black flake in it. And so I had quite a bit of that left from when I first mixed it up. Vicki Davis, hello, how you doing? I had quite a bit of that color mixed up, and I had a couple in that in this order of that bait, so I'm just trying to use up what I had. So that way I don't have just a huge amount of this left over still. So I'm finishing that up before I go to the frogs. Ralph Morg, hey, hey, how you doing? Great to see you. Because all the frogs are all floating, so it's not in this plastic. Otherwise, I'd be shooting some frogs right now, but I can't shoot the frogs when it's not in this plastic. <laughs> it's a different plastic salt for the floating. I figured I had to do this either way, so I might as well go live and just shoot the breeze, shoot the video. Fishing with Elyon is actually the one that ordered. Uh, Fishing with Elyon and Andy, Andrew Fisherman, or Fishman, are the ones that ordered this batch, so they like seeing them being made, so I figured... They'll watch it later when they get up and they see that I shot it. You're sitting at work, Trapper Jay. How are all the chicks doing? I miss living in the country. I miss living where I can have stuff like that. Used to live on, what, 30 and 40 acres. That's, I, I miss it. See, I figured it's, it's a way... For them to see what I'm doing, I don't have to edit this. That's a plus. <laughs> Editing takes a bit of time. They're doing good. I got to get over to your channel. I keep on meeting to get over there. I've just been so busy with everything. You're one of the channels I've been saying I have to get over and visit. <laughs> yeah, 30 acres was awesome. We were on 30 acres for a long time. We didn't own it. We uh, managed a horse farm, but it was so much work. Because we were expected to be there all the time. So it just kind of got to a point where we finally said, you know, we, we can't do this anymore. Not with kids. So we got out of doing that that industry, basically. And then with my one son being special needs, like all the doctor's appointments he had to go to, especially when he first got diagnosed, it was just too much work having to be at the farm when I had to be at doctor's appointments. For anyone that doesn't do this, this plastic where we heat it up is like 350 degrees, 370 degrees. It's up there. It's hot. So that these gloves are made to handle that heat. But even after this has cooled down some, it's still not. It's still pretty warm. Yeah, I'm busy but keeping up with everyone's live streams. Yeah, I haven't even been going into too many live streams. A lot of them just... Anxiety's been a little bit high, so I can't handle some of them. <laughs> I've been going into more of the chill, the calmer ones. That's that's what I've more or less been hanging around in. A little bit easier to handle when your anxiety's high. Six three one slots, how you doing? Great to see you. I've been watching more videos than getting into live streams, honestly. Now these turn out if these turn out then we should be done with this because there's really not much more i can shoot might be able to get one more batch of the small swim baits i'll let that one stay a little bit longer keep on hearing things like someone's walking up on me and no one's there <laughs> Probably hearing the dogs. I hope everyone's having an awesome Friday. Any Anyone got plans this weekend, really? 
Or you guys just off work and just plan on basically being lazy. So these ones, you can shoot them with or without the hook slots. So that's kind of a nice feature. But those turned out good. Got a couple little strain plastic because of the hook slot. But they look good. So I throw them in water and just so that they set a little faster. You can just set them out on a uh, flat surface, but it takes a lot longer for them to set. You throw them in the water, they set almost instantly. So I can actually bag them tomorrow instead of having to wait 24 hours. I can bag them tomorrow, early morning, even tonight probably. But if I didn't do it that way, I'd have to leave it about 24 hours before we could bag them. Because you don't want to end up bending them and kinking them and all that stuff. Having pretty good luck with the big swim bait today. Spoke too soon though. This one definitely, I shot that one a little bit hot. These ones do better when they're shot a little cooler. trying to do. Ah. Baylor Dump Queen, hello, how you doing? There probably is a way to do it, isn't there? A way of sizing the chat size up a little bigger. I know there's a way, I just don't know how. <laughs> I'm re remelt that down. I'm gonna use a glass that's purple. Most of it being in the floor shed at this point. Aldertown Live, hello, how you doing? I'll go with B. <laughs> Let's see if I can't make this. See, so we're melting that back down so that way I can uh, shoot a couple more and then I can go on to the frogs. I have plenty of these purple swim baits. <laughs> UFO to find swirl. Oh, sure, you can go find a UFO. I'm not going for, looking for one. Lacey's Place, hello, how you doing? You like watching us make the wars? Yeah, as long as it works out well, then it's good. ELS Crew, hello, how you doing? See, so the last time I tried shooting them, it just didn't work well. I just had one issue after the next doing them. One away from your goal, Ella, Ellis. I'll just talk to people in here. You might find someone. Thanks for the great channel. Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. I'm glad you guys keep coming back. Really enjoy your adventures that's for sure i'm glad you enjoy lacy's place and yeah, we we're busy we're always doing something we are always doing something endless vlogs hello how you doing
Hopefully these two work. Yes, these ones are purple with um, silver, gold, and black flake in it. It's a color I came up with. Um, I already shot the couple baits we had to for the order in this color, but I'm just trying to finish off the bait. Little Brooklyn, hello, how you doing? Um, these are actually for an order. Um, these are for an order. L downtown. I'm trying to figure out what your name was from the distance. <laughs> I would love to get those for Jello. I don't. They might work. I don't know if they would work for Jello. I know when uh, the bait kind of came out sticky, it was not fun trying to clean it out. Eileen Baylou, welcome back. L downtown. We had people order these baits. These are actually ones that um customers want. So we're shooting, we're making them for them. Had to walk to the corner store. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. They're all fishing baits. They're fishing lures. Like this is one that I've already made. They're just like the soft plastic fish that you'd use to catch fish with. I am making frogs after this. I just, I'm trying to finish off this color so I can go to the floating bait. No, they're not in the monthly box with the uh, My Tackle box. We just, we get the mystery tackle box, but we don't have any of our stuff in there. Maybe one day. <laughs> Silly you. Oh, that's not a problem. You, you came in a little late and didn't realize what we were doing. <laughs> Now I know how you guys make. Yeah, this is this is the process. You got to heat up the plastic. You got different colors we mix in, and these are the molds. It is definitely a process. <laughs> Big simple serving out some drinks. It looks like. So like when they come out, these ones got the hook slots in them. They started good, then went to bad, and had to make it better. I to rush with new interview questions. Oh, that's no fun, Eileen. That's no fun. Sorry to hear that. Glad you're able to find someone else. That's a good thing. John's life. Hello, how you doing? Mike's looking for the tools to try to fix her son's bike wheel. Oh, yeah, you can definitely get in contact with us. I think we have our email in our description for the baits, but you can always email us also on the email that's just on our about section. just starting L downtown so we haven't really picked up a lot yet um it's still very new see those are the swim baits like the large swim baits you can see how big they are compared to the other ones Murat haunted adventures hello Okay. 
can I get a free free wheelie? Uh, you won't be able to get a free wheelie with one. I was trying to figure out what you were saying. I'm like a free wheelie. No, you won't. You won't get a whale with one of those. That's that's a big bait, but not that big. These ones are going out to Australia. I'm reading them like a uh, free wheelie. What's a what's a free wheelie? Maybe a hammer shark. I don't know if any of our baits are going to be catching any of those interesting things. Okay, we're at the point where I can mix up for the next color, well, for the frogs. I know we got just a plain white frog. There's not enough room in this garage. If they get used. <laughs> if they get used, they might. Oh, well, downtown, yes, he is. It's going to be loud for a second. Here's your warning. But that is for sure. Oh, it was just off the rim or something? Oh, I thought maybe you had it fixed already. <laughs> See, Al downtown says you look like a hardworking man. <laughs> he says occasionally. I'm going to say yes, he is. I'm trying to get the remnants out of the old color. Nope, that would have been too easy, exactly. It would have been way too easy. Rick Thomas, hello, how you doing? Oh, yeah, you know how it is, you know how it is. There's no, there's no time for rest, is there? <laughs> Eileen says, hello to Mike. Hello. He's going to say hello in passing. You kind of get the view of him as he walks back and forth. What? <laughs> we can get plenty of rest when we die. Oh, that is true. Cosmo Black the Bunny, how you doing? So there's always something that needs to be done. Well, we're on to... Huntress of the Unknown, how you doing? No rest for the wicked, exactly. Come cook for you, you're hungry. I know you guys all saw the uh, the pictures on Instagram. Or not Instagram, Twitter. Um, no. It's in, it's in the house somewhere. There might be one on top of the fridge. I think there's a 20 inch on top of the fridge. You're playing with your cousin right now, Cosmo. That's awesome. I thought there was one on the fridge or there's one um, downstairs to the left. The one that we had out is there's the Dell computer monitor and then in that purple and clear container has all that stuff that was on the table. Send them first to you. <laughs> or no, did you see what I what did you see what I posted on Twitter yesterday, Huntress of the Unknown, or did you just recently watch one of my videos? Um, of the food. Smoked food is by far the best. There's only one bag I'm shooting of this color, so I don't need a lot of it. 
Scratchaholic. Hello, how you doing? I just say wherever you left it. Oh, he's looking for the new tube. Um, that's actually me that left the la the one he's thinking of. My son's bike's um, inner tube needs to be changed, so he's trying to change that right away. So now we got to heat that up so it's actually the right consistency. You see how it was like a milky white to start off. Then it goes into like a gel form, and then it goes from the gel form, it goes to, um, it goes clear. If you overheat it, it starts turning yellow, then you know you burned it. He's trying to eat my finger even though he doesn't have teeth. <laughs> they always do that. They always do that. I need your mer your merch. You should call it Grip It. <laughs> we do have merch. It's on our that should be on our about section as well. But we are probably going to be making a shirt that's going to have R five baits and have a bass or something on it. So we can have something that's like for our baits itself. We just haven't done that yet. You left it where he told you to. Oh, Lacey's voice. No, we have two of them, I believe. One was on top of the fridge, and then the other one, I knew where it was, but he didn't know. Um, yeah, he, he's trying to fix it, at least. Like, I was told my son I would fix it three days ago, and I forgot. <laughs> two thumbs up. I do appreciate that. In the background, just listening. Yeah, I figure some of you guys enjoy this. Some probably don't. This isn't always everyone's cup of tea, but I need to do this anyway. I need to make this these baits either way it goes so I might as well just do the live they never know I'm the one that kind of puts everything somewhere <laughs> I usually don't know honestly he laughs at me I know he's messing around he knows <laughs> he knows the way of the bunny kids kids are always smart Cosmo they're always way smarter than they put off now I, I figured I've got to shoot these baits regardless, so I might as well just go live and whoever wants to watch it, watches it. The next time he has a stick in his hand, cut it off. I, I wish he would stop, but, you know, it's a hard habit to break. Harping on him isn't going to change it, is it? Just hit the 350. We need the white color. These are going to be just plain white. He just wants white for this one. Um, so there's the white color. I made the mistake again of opening it without a towel, so I get white all over me. It's almost like it started out. <laughs> Looks like you're kind of... Um, yeah, you have to figure out about the right number of drops. The white is still a new color. We actually, we ordered a couple new colors um, for this order. So we have not really done much with the white. So I'm still getting it down, but I count them out because you want... 
you kind of have a general idea of how many drops it's going to take. I think I forgot to empty that one out. <laughs> That's why we've got more than one. This is the first time using this type of the bait. This is the floating bait. So it's the first time using it. But it is gelling up a little bit. That's a good sign. It wasn't gelling at all. But yeah, the white is new for us, so we don't really have the number of drops down yet. Um, but other colors, we do have the number of drops down. when I go because you kind of have a general idea of how many drops it's going to take. That's not going to peel off yet. Eh. Yeah, I forgot to take some out. Thought I did all that, but I guess I forgot. <laughs> don't like is how this one's not coming out right do they fish can smell yeah I mentioned that the colors you come up with you get just oh yeah you they do we figure out like a color we get like an exact number of drops for that color so we definitely um we have an exact number see in some reason The frogs didn't turn out right, so I gotta kind of figure out what's going on there. I'm thinking that jug just wasn't mixed up enough. <laughs> the swim baits are just not something we're used to. We haven't done them yet. You have all, have all your likes. Um, no, it's not gelling really quick. It's it's actually gelled really slow, and it's not gelling up fully. It's kind of, um, that one, it might be garbage. So, dude, excitement, hello, how you doing? Um, when it does that, sometimes if you don't mix it enough, which I thought there was a possibility of that because of how fast this turned over, um, that's kind of what it did to me when it turned over fast the last time, you just kind of have to trash it and start over. It happens because this one's in the bottle and stuff. I shook it up really good, but we usually mix our, like, we have a big bucket downstairs that we start off with and we mix all of our stuff in the bucket. Um, so it gets a really good mix and don't really have that opportunity with this. 
and I was shaking it, but I couldn't quite get it to where I thought it needed to be. So I'll shake it a little bit more. We'll try again. And that's what happens. Please take two and figure out the pro. Yeah, it's, it's something with the liquid right now. I should have shown you the bottle before I started shaking it. It separates. You get like a clear coat and then a, a white coat at the bottom. And if it separates, it's not it's not going to do it the right. Like it's not mixed. So it probably just wasn't mixed enough. So we use dead on plastics. Um, yeah, it is a different material. It's a floating material, but that is way too soft. Like, that's that's past soft. <laughs> that is actually, like, it'll break as soon as a fish touches it. Your new video's out? I will definitely go check that out, Miss Me. And thank you for liking and sharing. I do appreciate that as well. sticky thing that's what it kind of it feels like it kind of feels like that um no we don't put any water in it trying your best not to fall asleep <laughs> yeah there's no water in it so that's definitely not our issue it's just how it separates let's talk about it with jamie how you doing definitely a mixture issue but I shook it to the point where it seemed okay but now I'm shaking the crap out of it <laughs> I don't think it is did you open that tote if you go downstairs to the left there's where the Dell computers laying on top of it the clear and purple tote inside there's all the stuff that I had out there fine so so hello how you doing I hit the mute button. You're sitting there wondering why the heck you couldn't hear me, huh? I've done that before. I've actually started a stream at the beginning before and couldn't figure out who the heck they were saying hi to because I'm like, that person's not even here. Okay, this should be mixed good enough now. That's just... Get a new one going. And so this is another color that we make right here. Oh no, he's just busy. Well, it is a liquid. It is a liquid. Um, no, but he's busy right now. He's just doing stuff. He does almost a lot of the videos, so he gets on camera. Yeah, but like that's one of the other colors we've made. That's the mutant green. Well, that's mutant green with some flakes in it. Um, that's actually my light behind me right now that you're seeing, but yeah, it is pretty sunny. 
yeah, when it firms up properly, it cleans up real easy. Um, when it's not good, then it's sticky and kind of disgusting feeling. But for the most part, it all just comes out all and it kind of melts back together, or firms back up and just stays together. You just grab it all out in one piece. The worst part is the flakes, because the flakes is essentially, it's just a glitter. And that is a mess. Now we try this again. It's not too messy at all. It's not too messy. The the flake is the messy thing, that, that glitter. Icy Mike. Miss Velocity Savage, how you doing? Slime gone wrong. Well, that's why he's calling it, he said it reminds him of the ooze that was in um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when we were growing up. So that's why it's called Mutant Green. It's actually a pretty neat green, and that green works real, has worked really, really well for fishing. That one's actually been one of the ones that's caught, like that color has probably caught the most fish, that, fish this year for us. Be interesting to see how it does in Australia because that's actually going out to Australia that color. I'm doing good, I'm doing good. How's Mr. Savage? Haley Williams, you're supposed to be in school, child. Yeah, I can yell at you. You're supposed to be at school. Hook, hook, line, and Kyle. Hi, how you doing? Well, so far it's turning over a little bit better than the last one. The last, I think I figured out when it's gonna mess up, it turns over too quick. Oh, that's right. You said you might not go to school today because you weren't feeling too good. I remember now. I would use globes. That container has this. Yeah, that, that, that container does have the skull. I'm doing good, hook line. I'm doing good. So we're just making some baits. When can you go live if you have a new... Um, Baylor Dump Queen, I think... I, I, you know, can't you go live instantly off of a desktop? Or is it 100 people you have to have? I'm pretty sure you can go live at any time. You just have to wait like 24 hours after being verified. On a desktop. You need a 1,000 subscribers to use your phone. It's going to be noisy again. Okay, it's going to also get a little darker for a second.
double loud. Northern Ohio action, hello, how you doing? Oh, awesome, Eileen. Haley, I'm not worried about it. Whenever you bring it back, whenever you bring it back, I'm fine. Sorry about that. It got a little loud for a second. Uh, the husband was uh, re-airing up the tire, I believe. What? Hmm, I wonder what's going on. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. See, now I'm making noise because I'm degassing this stuff. <laughs> Captain killed you. I know, I know. I'm looking over there when I got the phone in my hand. Whenever you bring the leash back, Haley, you come over here often enough. I'm not worried about the leash. I really am not. I wasn't going to let you have to drag him back with uh, no leash. That's not very easy to do when a dog's running. Hook line, thank you for sharing the Twitter. I do appreciate that. I'm hoping this time this bait works because I don't know how much more shook up I could do that, especially with that bottle. That might be the reason why it's easier to have it in the bucket at first. <laughs> okay, this time it's actually doing what it should do. It's more jelly. That's good. That's good. See, it's supposed to... Oh, no problem, Eileen. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. We're just kind of hanging out. I'm not expecting you really to do much. I, if an obvious troll comes in, that's the only thing I'd... I'd appreciate you helping me with, but... time when I mixed it up it had, kind of went to a straight liquid instantly this time it's kind of cooling off so it's turning more into a gel so it's already kind of jelly it looks more promising this time and it had me a little concerned for a second because it kind of came out a little watery at first that up a little longer. There's an alley you ran through that didn't go through the bridge by the creek, went through all the bushes and thorns and then want to lose them so I can... That is no fun at all, Haley. You gotta love dogs. You have got to love dogs. Her dog decided to run yesterday and uh, ran her through all kinds of thorns and stuff. So she got a little bit scratched up and beat up. Now, we should have this at temperature now. We should be where we need to be. Actually, needs to cook just a little bit longer. See, sorry guys, if you can't hear me well, um, He's still trying to fix that tire, so he's got that air compressor uh, air compressor running. We probably have to go buy a new tube for it. You don't run for a cross country runner. Yeah, it might just be a bad tube.
Now it's fully cooked. Sorry, someone tried calling me, so I got cut off for a second. Well, here's hoping this time this worked. We were doing so good, I don't need a, a blooper reel going again. Haley says, hi, Mike. You feeling better now, Haley? You're still not feeling good. So you missed a good dinner last night. So you still want to try to come over and make your thicky nicky? Should be home all weekend, Haley. You can probably come over and we can try to work on that. I doubt your mom will let you come over today since you didn't go to school today. So Haley is like an, our adopted daughter to us and she wants to make her, we let all the kids make their own colors. And me and Mike have made her own colors. So Haley wants to make two different colors she's got in mind. She wants to make a fried chicken and one that she wants to call Thicky Nicky. She did tell me that, that you can't come over here today since you didn't go to school. Well, if you can't come over today, it's fine, Haley. You can always come over Saturday or Sunday if you're around. I should be home both days for the most part. I think I'm bringing the boys to the safety fest on Saturday. But other than that, I'll be home. Glad you're feeling better, though. Yeah, Haley's got her own color scheme, though, that she's got going on that she wants to do. Should be interesting. And, of course, she's got the interesting name, too. Thicky Nicky. <laughs> I was feeling much better than the last one was. If you see a bunny in the road, that's me. <laughs> Ian Matthews, hello. <laughs> Bad color choice, right? Bad color choice. How you doing, Ian Matthews? It's not that expensive to buy new ones. I am making baits, Ian Matthews. I'm making baits. What? This is what I'm doing right here. These are frogs. And the customer wanted just a plain white. So it's just a plain white frog. Yeah, for fish. Middle and school and high school are on lockdown because of a threat. Well, that's lovely. Did not get word of that one. Because the school comes up as unavailable, so I know it's not the school trying to call me. Messed up that you're telling me what's going on. See, I don't think they let the parents know until after it's happened. 
because then no, they don't have all the parents running up to the school wanting to uh, intervene. Haley sent the phone. Send it to Mike, Haley. I can't see it on the phone right now. If I go over to that, I cut out the live stream. You got the emails. The Carver Family Fishing. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, if I open it up while I'm on the live stream, I'll cut off the live stream. Find issues. Oh. Knock this down. Um, right now we're just doing a plain white, which I'm being told looks a little bit bad. Well, at least that's what I'm coming from that comment. stuff on it. Um, we just did some purple. I have the colors to do. I gotta shoot one more of this white, and then this white is already done. Then we move on to the next color. I think the next color I'm going to do is going to be probably. I gotta look at the stuff. A black with green and yellow, yellow and white flake. I think that's the last of the non-laminate frogs, and then I gotta do laminate frogs. Ron Boots Farm, hello, how you doing? It's a bomb thread at school, wonderful. Wonderful. It's getting a little ridiculous at the schools. Of course, they won't let us do anything, and if you call up there, they're not going to answer right now. Yeah, at our school, apparently, Cosmo. It's getting ridiculous. That stuff gelled up fast. Your grandfather made his own weedless jigs back before they sold them in stores. Awesome. It is kind of fun to do. It's just annoying when you have uh, issues, when they, they arise. It's, then it gets frustrating. All the students are escorted to the field house. Yeah, like I said, there's no point in calling up there because they're not going to answer and they're not going to let you pick up your kid. I'm kind of shocked Mike didn't chime in with that one. If I'm going to pick my kid up, I'm picking my kid up. <laughs> He'll find his own way of getting her. So I guess you picked a good day to stay home, Haley. a good point. If they got escorted to a different place, you could have just sat there and talked, Haley. She, she already probably does that. 
What? <laughs> we know you so well, Haley. You are welcome to come over today if your mom will let you. Though. Apparently there's work being done on our street. Oh, they're tearing the street up again? They can't fix the streets that need it desperately. They just keep tearing ours up. <laughs> Uh, over on the corner there. Yeah. Apparently that uh, message we got about the sidewalks, we had to actually contact them to pay the half and stuff for them to even look at it. Like, they made it sound like they were going around and seeing which sidewalks needed it. Yeah, apparently the only ones they're doing automatically are the corners because they have to make them wheelchair or whatever accessible. Which is funny because I swear that's what they did when they did all of our curbs on our driveways. I just book it. Haley Williams that had to run and get lunch. Um, I'm about to pull another one. We'll see how it looks. I I'll pull the ones from behind me if I, no, these ones don't turn out. But I don't know. They're weird looking. I prefer the colors more, but. Well, I'm happy I didn't go to school today. Uh, white frogs are really good. Mike says white frogs are really good. See, I guess pretty isn't necessarily what we're looking for, right? 760 bass fishing, how you doing? The hook slot's supposed to be at the top, right? So that is the top there. Just making sure. Well, that's that's how they turned out. That's the white frogs. So the top is just for our uh, our pleasure. Yeah, and the hook slot's up there. So. So that one didn't. That one's got an air bubble. So that's that's how the frogs looked. It is a frog fishing bait. Soft plastic that we make. Trying to check them all because I don't know if some of them possibly had air bubbles. I didn't notice any, but then I found one after I pulled one out. Well, that worked out perfect because I needed six, and it looks like I got six good ones. Tez, froggy, me want froggy. But that is the white. That's the that's all I had to shoot of that color. I got a lot of single shots I have to do. Now we have some laminates to do as well. Those are always fun. Gonna hold cool. He's over here being creative to fix it. See, like this is one of the colors I made previously. I like the ones with glitter. Yeah, a lot of people like the glitter ones. So like that is the color I made earlier, which is a purple with glitter. Mm -hmm. 
This next one's got some glitter in it. I think it's, I forget what color I said it was. It's going to be black with green, yellow, and white flake. The only downfall with the glitter is to get stuck in these and you have to clean all that glitter out before you start the next one so you don't end up with the wrong glitter in it. <laughs> and glitter ends up all over your house. So I put the thing up on my community tab voting for what you guys preferred to see as far as live streams go. And about 80% of you guys had voted for these streams. So, trying to do more of them. Seems like a lot of you guys like to sit in the background and watch, because we've had 12 in here almost the whole time, and... Only a handful are talking, so it seems like a lot like to just kind of watch it, which is fine. Now I've got to heat that up again. Not a problem, Cosma. I know you've been awake for quite some time. You were up in this morning streams. Baylor Dumpsy, it's really cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it's nice thing is this has some replayability for the people that like watching this. They can watch it again. Or the people that miss it can watch it. I know there's a few of them that will probably watch this whole live stream. Especially since two of them were making their baits right now. So they'll be in here watching it. The weird thing is just trying to figure out an angle for the camera. So you can see what I'm doing. But also not just see nothing. <laughs> I need black. What colors do I need? I need black, and then I need green, yellow, and white. Get all the colors out that I'm going to need. First time watching how to make base. Yeah, I've done these videos a couple times. Um, seems people like them. Seems people do like watching them. We have a couple videos up as well of doing it. Um, this should start turning to put um, more of a gel pretty soon here. You gotta drop off and make a call. I'll we'll try to make it back afterwards. Not a problem, Ron Boots Farm. I hope you have an awesome day if you don't make it back. Trying to come up with some different streams, trying to do a couple different things on here instead of always just chat streams. I've done the live streams over at the farm a couple times too where my daughter's riding or when we're visiting the horse. People seem to like that as well. Just something a little different. Forgotten winner, hello, how you doing? For those that don't know, tomorrow, uh, Gil Skills and I will be doing a stream together again. So, and that should be a lot of fun. Not quite there. Living Yes. See, Living Yes is one that's probably been sitting in the background because uh, I know I've seen you a while back, Carmen, and you just just now uh, commenting again. Come home for lunch and decide not to go back to work. <laughs> Put in too many hours this week. Hey, I get it. Now you can see the progression. You see how it's kind of turning more of a cloudy color? 
it was white. Now it's starting to turn over to gel before it actually gets fully cooked. And it kind of is more of a gel substance. You just gotta be careful when doing it that you don't overheat it too fast because I've, I've done it. You actually burn the plastic and then it's, it's garbage. And it's dangerous. Nathan T's Halloween, how you doing? Hope you have an awesome day at work. Thank you for popping in. I do appreciate that. You, got, you work that wonderful afternoon shift, huh? goes from gel to liquid. It's almost fully cooked. Just a little bit more. You might be able to come over. Don't get yourself in trouble begging, kid. But if you're able to come over, that is totally fine. Let me get the degas. It's going to get loud for a second because I'm going to degas this. We found when we like mix, if it gets a lot of uh, moisture in it, we have to degas it. So you're over there begging your mom already, Haley? I don't know if Mike's right. If Mike rides the bike to work tonight, I'll have the car to where I might try to go to the farm because I have not been there in a while. You're saying you're not begging her. You're begging her if you're already thinking you might be able to come over. Haley is like one of my biggest fans. She's like our adopted daughter, but she is always here. She watches all the videos. I'm sure she watched the video yesterday too from Autumn's Taekwondo tournament. Actually, not yet. I wasn't notified. I'll watch it after the live. Oh, mm -hmm. scrap it together. Hello. How you doing? See, I'm... I'm shocked you weren't notified. You're, you're too busy watching those uh, people eating their chicken.
Okay. Mr. Fulmer Base, soft plastics. Congratulations on that anniversary of your radio show. Black. Then we gotta put all the flakes in. Those chicken videos are amazing, don't judge. <laughs> I say you're my child for everything else, but that is totally not me. have more mukbangs yeah she likes watching uh she has a guy she watches that eats chicken she loves the sound of the crunchy chicken probably like the videos that I do of us cooking stuff that I used to use. This one's going to be very glittery. Heat it up a little bit. It's starting to gel again. See, I got light back. Now, now we got the bright light behind us. <laughs> see, it was actually staying decent without the light, but I know it's it's kind of hard to see. So, like, that's kind of the color. I don't know if you can kind of get an idea of all the glitter that's in there. At this angle, I kind of feel like e waste mic with this, uh, you only see the lower part of the, what I'm doing. <laughs> only thing we're missing is the cat. <laughs> a little bit warmer. I'm just missing the cat coming all in this workspace and trying to get in the way and... Begin the temperature now. That it is.
<laughs> Don't say why so you can show a brush. I totally did that almost uh, in front of your huh? Yeah, I think you almost did, Haley. You you were a bit winded, like I thought you were about to start crying. You just were a hot mess, child. Captain ran out the door on her yesterday, and she, uh, don't know where she necessarily caught him at, but they ended up down our street. And I just happened to walk out right after they caught him. Well, she had someone else end up helping her catch him. And I, I stopped her and said, I'll give her a leash, because they didn't have even a collar on him. And she was like, can you call my mom? I'm like, I'll give you a leash. And then she was, she was fine after I said that. I think part of your worry was how you were going to get him home with no collar or leash. But... Do some of them then. Scrap me, that looks like fun, yeah. Oh, that sounds awesome, Prepper Bob. How you doing? Yeah, you you kind of composed yourself once you got over by me, Haley, but you were at that verge. Is that the one on the worst hand? No, I said, well, I had a bubble on the phone and I had to put it. No, I didn't hear you screaming for Captain. I just kind of happened to walk out at that moment. Probably just because Rocky started barking. He must have heard your voice and was barking at you. He was barking, and I didn't know why he was barking, so I came out. But that's the only reason I came out. I didn't know you were out there. From zero to homestead, hello, how you doing? Oh, your dog ran to the fence. Oh, that's why he barked then. Yeah, I just happened to come out because bar his barking. And then I saw you, and you were kind of freaking out. So that's the only reason I came out. So in other words, the frogs aren't your favorite to shoot. <laughs> but that's kind of a thing that you were having happen. How is the foot supposed to turn out? Because that's like how all of them are turning out. So the rest of it looks good. Well, that's... That's the frog. Just might be what that's what happens. Because <laughs> yeah, they're filling up, they're, they look fine. Well, we do those white ones either way because I have any flies I have. Frog is giving me trouble. 
Yeah, you never wear shorts either, Haley. What was up with that? That is awesome. She barely, well, the shorts she had on over here were autumn shorts. She was probably wearing autumn shorts again. <laughs> Yeah, this child and her pants and stuff and hoodies and 90 degrees. Yeah, I had her shorts. I, I, yeah, I don't even think those fit her anymore, though. So truthfully, it's not a big deal. They fit me perfectly. I got. Yeah, you kind of are, Haley. Yeah, they fit you perfect. I think she's got a couple other pairs of shorts that probably would fit you perfect. I don't think she fits in quite a few of her old ones anymore. Should ever go through them. You'd finally have some shorts. <laughs> so you can quit wearing hoodies and sweats when it's like 90 degrees out. Isaiah Bush, hello, how you doing? What is a frog fishing? It's something used for fishing, fishing bait. How do I explain it? It's a fishing bait. <laughs> I like to wear sweatpants though. You're killing me. You're wearing like sweats in 90 degrees, Haley. You're killing me. It is too hot for that. Um, yeah, it drips down after, if you over, well, it kind of overfills when you're doing it, but you want to keep that, uh, sprue filled up, otherwise air bubbles end up in it. My last batch got a lot of air bubbles. I apparently didn't keep it full enough. Some more in there, but I guess not. Ninety degrees is hot. You sound like you sound like Andrew with that. He acts like a hundred degrees is the best temperature ever. these ones turned out. Is it 
they didn't, I'm going to start getting mad. feel good, but I think we're good on those. I had one that didn't fully work. So, we just need two more good ones. Luckily, you can reuse it when it doesn't work out. Luckily, that is the case. Look out. If she gets mad, she's going to throw a frog at us. Oh, I'd be more afraid of this hot liquid sitting next to me. Well, it's not liquid right now, but when this stuff's melted down, it is hot. Like my husband pointed out, I thought they were good. My white ones had air bubbles in them, so I'm going to have to reshoot the white ones. Not too thrilled by that. Try to dry those out though, because I don't want the moisture. I'll do that since I don't have anything going on down there. Gotta remelt everything again. I gotta get two more good ones. See, it's weird. I don't have that pretty green screen. You get to see this, uh, overflowing garage can't tell how full this garage is though from the from the video i don't like the nail people well Haley, it's you gotta understand the fact that with uh male people they've been bit by so many dogs they are absolutely petrified of them and so usually that's what they do they're gonna try to evade and try to avoid getting bit I've not heard about someone fishing for frogs before. But... Oh, these, no, these are actually used for catching, like, bass and stuff. People will use frog lures, their frog baits, to catch bass. So you'll put it on your line and you throw it out there, and just like you would use any other type of fishing lure, you'd use that to catch bass. And we also make the swim baits, which are just fish swim baits I did not see that last video I heard your shop is getting to be a big mess over there scrapping together my garage is um over full definitely have too much going on in here right now Reposition again. Um, it depends. Every it depends on what the fish are going for at the time. The frog lures are a top water lure, but it just depends on what the fish are going for. It really does. These ones are going out to Australia. I don't know what their fish are necessarily going for more. Caught mostly like we haven't really had any top water bites this year, but other people have great luck with top water. I don't like fishing, I know catches a lot of top water stuff. It, it really just depends on the fish, it depends on what your fish or what what type of fish you're going after, what they're going after at that time of year, what color you're fishing. Sometimes it's all a matter of the color you're using. It just really depends. Some of our stuff does better than others for us, and then other stuff that works that doesn't work so good for us works great for someone else. So it all just depends on the area. Like I'll be interested to see. We have that uh, mutant green has been working amazing for us. We've been catching almost all our fish off that color. 
And we sent that color out to Stye North, and we'll see if that works for him. I'm interested to see how well it works for his fish, because he's fishing a different area. Not a problem, Haley. Not a problem. Yeah, just let me know if you're able like, just show up. I'll be home. I'll be home. Well, text first because I might go to the barn if I have the car. But if I don't have the car, I'll be home. This is a hobby of you guys, Um, Isaiah Bush, we mostly fish for hobby. Um, but the baits is actually a business. We're making this is actually a custom customer's order, custom order that they made colors they want, what they want. Um, so it's actually a custom order I'm making. Like after this, I'm gonna reshoot the whites and hopefully those turn out this time. I've already done the whites, but the whites just, I had issues. <laughs> so I'll redo the white. Cause I don't wanna move on from that cause I already marked it as being done. Got a pretty good size order to do. Oh, that didn't. Like that one's got an air bubble. Trying to see it popping out. One. There is a plus with these guys if they have some air bubbles. Is <laughs> air bubbles create them to? Like buoyancy that cause them to float more. And they're a floating bait already. <laughs> so that's a plus. Like this plastic when we're shooting it we're shooting it at like 350 degrees so it's extremely hot um even after it's sat for a while this metal still is fairly hot i think you just kind of develop a you get used to it <laughs> doesn't really phase me anymore checking these whites again. Like that one's got definite air bubble. That one's got a definite air bubble. Here, I thought they were good, and they weren't. Oh, Extra pop. <laughs> well, we'll try those ones again. That'll be our redo. A 
29 likes. That's pretty awesome. So that, what, eight people in here watching? I said, I have to shoot these baits regardless, so I might as well just jump on here and do them this way. I'm done shooting what I need of this color, but I have enough to shoot probably one more round, so I might as well try. I don't know if I have enough for one more round or not. But I might as well try. I just thought of some. Oh no, I didn't draw any in there. The white's up there. The white didn't get thrown in. We keep a meltdown, but our meltdown is all, we don't have any floating stuff in there yet. So I'm like, oh crap, I threw some floating in with the regular plastic ball. Don't really want that, because that's where we, how we come up with our surpri like, surprise colors, our unique colors. We just mix all the meltdowns together and create a color. So like this right now, 320 degrees. So it is not cool. This batch will probably not turn out because I pretty much ran out of plastic. So that's probably the end of what I'm going to get of this. So what if any turn out on this, that's the end. Oh, yeah, I had to know how you're doing. Prepper Bob, that's not a problem at all. You have an amazing day. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for stopping in. It is always appreciated. Gil and I will be live tomorrow. We'll be doing our double feature like we normally do we are not eating anything hot this week now next week i beg to differ we got something in the mail we got those hottest chocolates that wonderful abk has graced us with um i got his out today so we'll be doing that next saturday we won't be laughing but i'm sure you guys will be book tales out how you doing Making frog baits got my attention. Yeah, this next batch probably won't turn out so good because I ran out of plastic. I was seeing if I could get one more shot out of it, but I don't think I did, and I ran out of the plastic. So I'm sure this next shot will have mostly air bubbles, and I'll just have to have it in a meltdown. But I figure we might as well try. After a while, you get so much in meltdown, you just you got to try to not have so much in meltdown. Especially when it's this dark, this dark going into a meltdown, you're just going to create a dark color. This is all black with some flake. The only thing that's really bringing to the picture is the flake. The dark is just going to create dark. <laughs> so if I can eliminate some of that dark going in, I try. But yeah, we're making some baits for an order. I figured I'd go live since um, I had to, had to make the baits regardless. <laughs> for where to go uh, hang out, huh? <laughs> I've been shooting a lot of baits and this, this mold has definitely gotten fairly warm. Okay, as I kind of figured, it's basically looking like it's air bubbles kind of figured that's what we were going to get but i wanted to try just to show you like it's a nice color but you can see 
all the air bubble that's popping out. Kind of see that lighter tinge. It's hard to see on there, but you can see that's after messing with it. The air bubble creates a nice big hole. So I tried getting one more shot out of it. I just can't. There's not enough plastic left of that color. Looks like a ribbit frog. Stubbs bitching and fishing. How you doing? Yeah, those ones didn't turn out very good because that one was one of those ones where I went, hmm, let's see if we can make more out of this. And it's just there's not enough bait left. I'm not mixing more of that color up. That's the last of what's left of that color. And so that goes into the belt. <laughs> doing great. That's awesome. Okay, like this is... This is what a good one looked like. I'm trying to figure out the best display way of this. But that, that's a good one. You might be able to get the sparkle out of it. We also made some of these today. Yeah, not frogs, but... A Massively large swim bait, as you can see. Made it purple. And we made some smaller swim baits, also made of that purple. Um, we've got a few different places we got our molds from. Um, BTS molds is one of them. Uh, God, I can't remember the other one. There's like three places we bought molds from. Um, I'd have to look. <laughs> Bigger than the fish out there. Endless vlogs. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, that one's um, that one's hard to find even a hook for. But for some people, like people that are fishing in the ocean and stuff, they really like that size because obviously they're going after quite bigger fish. And I'm sure they also have the hooks that would work for that because they're also going after sharks and stuff. So they've got the stuff they need. We don't. We've tried uh, finding hooks and we're having trouble finding a hook that works for it for us. But it's a pretty cool looking swim bait. I'm doing, you have fun doing what you're doing. Oh, endless, I am having fun. It is a lot of fun, Bucktails. It is a lot of fun. It's it's expensive to get into. It is very expensive to get into because, like, this mold alone, the frog mold that I'm using, this is like $130 or $150. It's not cheap. Like, every one of our molds cost us over 100 Except for, there's like a couple that were cheaper, but those cheaper molds you have to be careful with. Those cheaper molds do not sh the baits near as well. Now we're going to try with this white again. Because for some reason, this white one, when I shot it the last time, it, it came out with a lot of air bubbles. I didn't realize it until after it sat in the water for a little bit. But it's just too many air bubbles. Can't leave air bubbles all in there. Even though it is a floating bait. But this is just a plain white. That apparently still needs a little bit more time. <laughs> still a little bit clumpy. It looks okay. It was the right temperature, but it's still a little bit clumpy. that one out. Switch shot, uh, hello, how you doing? It's kind of new here. Do you sell your baits or just um we sell our bait baits bucktails. Um we have our five baits. It's um we have a majority of what we sell up on our Facebook page um our five baits. There's also a video up that um announced a sale we just ended but it has um a slideshow of basically all the different colors we have. So I'm trying to get Somehow I got a little bit of black mixed into that, and that's not okay. I don't want black mixed into the white. But yeah, we do sell the baits. Um, it's another side business we do. This is actually for an order that I'm making these. Um, it's actually, these baits are going out to Australia. Which is kind of cool. We live in the United States, so 
Kind of cool to have some baits going out to Australia. And these are custom colors they picked. Um, some of the stuff we actually bought the color after they asked for it because we did not have just plain white yet. It just wasn't a color we had went into yet. So that was a color we did buy for this order. Along with some of the, um, the flakes that we bought. But yeah, that's like we bought the white flake for this order because that's another thing that they had wanted um, in some of their stuff. We bought some yellow flake, some brown flake. Um, yes, it should be in the description. I believe it's in the description. I have to maybe look look again, but um, it is uh, R5 Baits on Facebook. If you just type in at, at and then R5, R5 and then Baits, it's all one word, it will bring you to our page. I think it's in our description, but then again, they limit the amount of words you can put in your description, which drives me nuts. So I had to double check that, because once we started the page up after we wrote the descriptions, I can't remember if I updated it. Trying to utilize the most searchability in the description sometimes isn't easy. Hopefully we get these ones out without all that. And then I've, I've gradually created more of a, uh, a hashtag on Twitter as well where I'll post pictures as I'm doing this sometimes. Um, and I just I hashtag R5 Bates. When I'm doing custom stuff, especially, I tend to post it on Twitter because they're just, they're different colors. So, <laughs> white's kind of weird for me to see. Well, not a problem. I'm glad you want to check it out. And we are talking changing prices, actually lowering some of the prices soon. So that is going to be happening. Apparently that plastic stall wasn't fully pulled down. So that one didn't I think I opened it a little too soon. So the white frogs look weird to me, but I might have to reshoot these ones because I think I opened it just a little too soon, which caused them to not fully finish. So I got little air bubbles in certain spots. Namely the legs. It seems like the legs are the main spot that seems to be a culprit on these ones. This is a whole new mold and a new plastic for me. So I'm not used to shooting the frogs. The worms are easier to shoot. The fish are honestly easy to shoot. I'm not used to the frogs. This is the first time I've shot the frogs is actually today. My husband has shot the frogs. But I've never done them. So it's all kind of new. This was the white I did originally, it just didn't form right. Probably wasn't mixed up enough, but this actually came out really jelly. Just not the right consistency. 
As you can see, like that's how the frogs came out with the wrong consistency, like real, real stretchy almost. Like, <laughs> they're just real stretchy. So when you get the wrong consistency, that's what you get. You unfortunately get garbage because you can't reuse that. <laughs> Not there. I'm gonna try one more time with this. I'm gonna see if I this mold is getting pretty hot. So it could just be the heat of the mold. Which I do have the large shad and the small shad that um one of them will actually wants a couple floating shads. So if this time doesn't work, I'm gonna assume it's just the mold needs to cool down. Which is possible. Nice hike of the views. Oh, forgotten winner, you're over there watching videos on the side too. That's awesome. Yeah, I figure if this one doesn't work, then I'll probably move on to doing those colors for the sheds and I'll have to come back to the white. Um, and I might just have to take a break after a while just to let these molds all cool down. Um the joy of doing all this at the same time. I can't even find my pen. I'm trying to find my pen so I can mark things and I can't find it. Well, Forgotten Winner, I do appreciate that for sure. See, I try to jump over to everyone's as much as I can, too, as long as I get notified. That notification bell just is horrid. It really is. They really need to figure out what is wrong with that. I swear, I get, don't get notified 99% of the time. Now I get notified a whole lot more on my other account. But I'm subscribed to a whole lot less over there. It half works. Exactly. Exactly. I know the last time I did the live like this when I was shooting baits, everyone told me, like, so many people were like, I didn't even know you went live again. Because I had went live earlier in the day. Like, I didn't even know you went live. I didn't get notified. So isn't that nice? Isn't that real nice? Like, how are we supposed to support people if we don't get notified of things they're doing? Because it's a lot of work trying to find the, the live streams and find the, the videos because you're having to type the whole name in to find it. And you don't always, it's, it, you don't always remember the exact spelling of these names. I know I used to have that problem with some of these channels. I I tried to look for them and I couldn't find them. And then when they pop up on my feed or they come into my live stream, I'm like, well, that's the problem. I've been spelling it wrong the whole time. It'd be like, it would help if I actually knew how to spell it, but they're spelling thing, their stuff differently. Blood was one of them. x and Blood because he used to have it misspelt and spelt all funky. No matter what I did, I could not search him up. It just wouldn't search. Ralph Mork. I'm still here lurking. Yeah, not a problem. I'm, I'm glad you guys are in here. I hope you guys are enjoying this stream. I know a lot of people have said they enjoyed this stream, so it's just kind of, or this type of stream, so I decided, you know what, what the heck. I got to shoot an order. I might as well just go live and let people watch, and it's something I can leave up for people to watch later. You love my live... I'm glad you like it, Endless. I'm glad you like it. I try still while I'm doing this, even though you can't see my face right now. I'm trying still to make sure I'm interacting with you guys as we go. Because it's one of my least favorite things when I go into the stream. I hate when I'm in there and they're just sitting there rambling on or they're, they're only talking to certain people. I like talking to everyone. I like letting you all know, know I see you. I like interacting with everyone. So sometimes it, it gets a little bit challenging when it gets busy, but, but I try to make sure I'm talking to everyone. Eileen Bailu is still in the background. 
So what time is your live stream tonight, Eileen? You can tell everyone and stuff. Um, Eileen is going to be doing an interview tonight um, with someone that has bipolar disorder. Yeah, I forget the name. I can't remember the name, so I don't want to. I don't want to get that wrong. But she's got that going on on her channel tonight, and I know she would love to see some of you guys over there. Um, Eileen, you're more than welcome to post what time you're doing that stream and even who you're interviewing and all that information. Um, so hopefully we can get some people over in your interview tonight. The castings are very cool. Haley Williams, welcome back. Because once again, that's the whole theory of the bell doesn't work. So if you kind of have a heads up that she's going live, you at least know to be looking for her. That's another reason why sharing it out does help immensely because when you share it out, people get notified sometimes just from that share. Um, I look at my traffic and 90% of my traffic is not coming from that bell. It's coming from Twitter. It's coming from shares. It's coming from all of that. So it's just, I try to share things out. If I go to a live stream, I share it out. I've shared videos out. I've shared a lot of that stuff out because it does help. Eric Garcia, nice to see you as well. Not a problem, Haley. It, it's up to him, obviously, but not a problem. You know you're always welcome. You're always welcome. Other than um, going to that thing tomorrow with the kids, I, I'm i not working this weekend at all. So if he, that means you stay the night. That's fine with me as well. I'm not working this weekend because I don't get my car back till probably Monday. Gotta love that. My car's been out of commission for almost two weeks now. My engine cracked. Yeah, you can go to the thing as well, Haley. I don't know if you ever went to that. It's the safety days over there, but they have all kinds of little events and tents set up, and they have a fire safety thing set up, and the kids enjoy it. They have a couple trucks and stuff that you can see. I think they usually land a helicopter during it. Um, it's kind of it's kind of a neat little thing. It's free. But the boys enjoy going to that. Autumn's got to help with Taekwondo all, all day tomorrow, basically, because all of the, the adults from Taekwondo, other than the owner are going to that safety event. I think I need an afternoon nap. Afternoon naps are nice. But yeah, we're going to that that tomorrow. But other than that, I'm off this whole weekend. And Mike might be able to leave his car here a little bit where I will be able to go to the farm and stuff. But I didn't want to work just he needs to get to work. Like, I'm waiting longer on this one, guys, because I'm trying to let this set really, really good just to see if maybe I just am pulling it too soon. Um, and if that doesn't work, then I'm going to assume this mold is just too hot. Like, let's see what it says the temperature of the mold is. Yeah, it's saying this mold right now, the outside temperature, I don't know if you can see that, is 100 degrees. So they're saying this metal is 100. It's, it's pretty hot. Like, I've gotten used to it. Like, it doesn't really phase me to touch it, but it is definitely hot. See, I'm actually very awake today scrapping together. I stayed up to almost 1.30 last night. I was actually shooting baits last night. And I woke up at 6 this morning. I'm wide awake. I'm right, wide awake right now. Um, it doesn't always happen like that, though. Yeah, it's been a long, a long time, though, with no car. Like, my engine cracked. It's actually getting repaired right now. Um, it's taking a little bit of time. Can you get some water to cool it? Um, if it cools down, like, yeah, I could probably do that, but there's no need to. I can move on to a different bait for now and just kind of let it cool. Like, it's just, it's not going to cool fast. I don't want to do a fast shock cool to it. You know, I made that mistake once with the Pyrex. I burned some Pyrex, and I thought, I'm going to I'm gonna clean this fast. I'm just going to get it out of here. And I instantly put cold water in. Now, mind you, like I said, this stuff is like 350 degrees coming out of the microwave. Um, that Pyrex shattered. I shattered it. Lesson learned, don't try to fast cool Pyrex. <laughs> you didn't go to bed till 3 a.m.? I do that often, scrap it together. I do that often. See, this one's got an air bubble in it. See, and I don't know if you can really see. 
I think it's just the heat, but you can kind of see when I squeeze it, that air bubble that pops up. Yeah, it just might be a too hot of a mold and it's just not shooting right. If that one's missing half a foot. Oh, the foot came off. <laughs> I was going to say, this one's missing a foot. Yep, the foot came off. Yeah, I think it's just the heat of the mold. Like, if you watch, you can see that bubble rise up. We show you every aspect of this, and sometimes it does not go as planned. But with how hot this mold is, I think a lot of my problem right now has to do with that mold being hot. You got up at 4 this morning, so you basically got up and scrapped them together was going to bed. So I think that white, I'm just going to have to let it cool some um, and redo the white, see if it works once this mold has cooled down. trying to show all aspects of this though because it's not it's not hard but it's also not just easy and fast like it definitely takes a little bit of work it definitely takes a little bit of money and it doesn't always go as planned so what colors do i need for those shad that he wants i might as well look that up for the shad he wants some black with sparkles he, didn't even, he, he trusts me to decide on those sparkles. He wants black with sparkles. I'm going to do his black with purple because that's what I normally do. So we're going to just... I might not be able to do any more froggies for a while because that's why you have to take a while to cool down you've been temporarily put on cool down for 10 minutes <laughs> kind of like those uh the slow mode chats you get put on cool down or the ones with the gambling in it you've gambled too much at this moment it might not be real money but you're on cool down you slept until 10 yeah, I didn't get that late. So, we got the small shad is this one. I personally find this mold, and this came from a different place, gets extremely hot. Um, I think that one gets hotter than the other mold I was using. This one gets hot faster, I think. It's had a chance to cool down now. So we're doing black with purple for this one. The white we're just going to have to wait on. The only other thing I'm going to try with that white when I redo it again is degassing it again and see if that's part of the problem. But it shouldn't be because it's been degassed. But you never know. of the old stuff got in there. So that's how it starts out. It starts out white and kind of like a glue consistency. A little bit thicker. You gotta start heating it up. Now, it would be nice if I knew where my pen went. See, I got to get up to the post office today so I can send out that chocolate to Stein North and to Gill Skills. Um, both of them will be eating that hot chocolate. I don't know when Stein North will be doing it, but me and Gill will be doing our double feature like we normally do um, next Saturday, eating that world's hottest chocolate, guys. 
Um, this stuff is no joke. If you look it up, it is intense. It is seriously no joke. So we're going to be eating that next Saturday, me and Gil. I don't know when Stye will be eating it. I found my pen. Um, and I also have to check the P.O. box because I'm supposed to have some hot peppers coming. That I don't know when I'm going to be doing that, but I will be doing that soon. And Landon, my son, is waiting on some fan mail from Duty Ron, which is pretty awesome. Um, Duty Ron is sending it off my other channel, my Mrs. R5 channel. He decided to, he sent a little gift for Landon. So Landon is excited because he's waiting on his fan mail. So I gotta get up to the post office and do a couple things today. See, and now once it heats up a little bit, it still is white, but it's more of a liquidy consistency. You'll see each of the steps now as it heats up a little more, it's going to turn into like a real goopy, thick, almost clear glue consistency. You think it's your microwave? <laughs> oh no, scrapping together, the chocolate bar we just did was not bad. It actually tasted pretty good. It had a really good palate to it. Like, it had some heat. It packed a little bit of heat, but it didn't really burn. Like, that burn kind of dissipated pretty fast, and it just had a really good, like, a good palate to it. It really did. It tasted good. I wouldn't say I would choose that chocolate um, as my everyday go-to chocolate, but it's not something I would necessarily say, no, I'll never eat again with that one. That one wasn't bad. Wood. Awesome. See, and now as you can see, it kind of gets that that thicker consistency. I'm letting that uh, I, the white one. I'm trying to reshoot, and it keeps getting air bubbles. But I'm thinking it might be because that mold is just really, really hot. Wood. I'm gonna go back push them on. It was hard to tell. I should have shot a couple extras of those ones. Of those. Stein North, hello. You think you're doing it the, the following Tuesday? Yeah, the milk chocolate kind of evened it out, and really, it just it wasn't it wasn't too bad. Now, this other one, from what I'm hearing and seeing, unless these people are faking it, it is definitely hot. This other one is definitely going to be a hot one. Unless they're faking it, which I just don't think they're faking it from watching reactions. I have a hard time believing they could fake these reactions. So I'm doing those floating shads that Andrew wants. And we're going to let that froggy cool down because... Froggy is getting pretty hot. So you're going to miss our next live stream, Stye, huh? Oh, Mike won't even touch it. He says he's not step stepping on any toes. That's mine and Gil's thing. That's that's his reasoning why he won't touch it. He just ain't gonna touch it. See, I was thinking that um, Andy ordered three, so me, Gil, and Mike all got a bar. But Stye volunteered himself into that position of the next bar. But I do think Andy had the intentions of Mike was getting a bar. You'll be watching it out that Sunday. <laughs> and you'll be laughing your butt off, I'm sure. Well, you might not be laughing too hard since you'll be dealing with the same extreme pain real soon. See, you got to do the other chocolate bar first, so we get to do this one first, right? 
fair is fair. See, Gil said he would go first on this next one, and then in his live stream the other day, he said, oh, so after Crystal eats it, I'll eat it. So he's back to that lady's first thing. I don't get that. I don't get that. See, he's laying out all the baits now for me. You can't come over. Well, darn, Haley. He's making you go to his house. I think it's going to be tough to follow your act. <laughs> Can tell Gil to step up. See? But with him going after me, it makes him go, well, I got to do this now because they were able to do it. Oh, you're going to go see your grandpa? I'm sorry to hear that, Haley. I get like no phone calls normally. <laughs> Where's my lunch? I haven't even had lunch. I haven't even had lunch over here. You're learning, living, yes. I'm still learning, too. See, this is kind of gelling up already. Again, it's going to have to go back in and heat up some more, but... That pretty black. You had me a little bit freaked out that when you did your stream, though. You handled that all calm and cool, and I don't think any of us are going to handle it nice and calm and cool this time. I think we're all in trouble this time. I'm like, huh? I thought you were talking about, like, coming to Porter County Fair to have a booth or something. I'm like, we didn't even have a booth. So you get to go fishing with those baits you got, huh, Sty North? I hope those work really well for you. I'm interested to see how that, uh, that green works. just a random number. No, it's a different one every time, so it's probably one of the stupid automated things. So I know the school comes up as either Highland or un unavailable.
Yeah, that's why I knew what you said you were doing there, Sty. I knew you were going to be taking them out to camp. Hopefully they do good for, for you. Are you on Facebook, Sty? That's something we do need is someone that uses the baits to, uh, to actually write some reviews on the Facebook page. <laughs> Well, I'll send you the, the group, or it's just R5 baits on Facebook, but when you use those baits, if you could go over there and write a review, that would be awesome. After I pulled these ones off, I'm probably not going to stay live much longer. I'm going to try to figure out who the heck has been trying to call. Um, just to make sure that there isn't a couple times that the same person has. Now, I hope so too, scrapping together. I hope so too. I'm hoping it was just that uh, heat of the mold. Coming along, endless vlogs. Like for those that weren't in earlier, these have the spot for the hook hook slots. You can also shoot them without the hook slots, but. These look good. I think it was just getting too hot, but there's the the small sw swimmers. And those are done in a floating plastic because that's uh, what they wanted. Um, I don't know how hot it is today, Endless. I haven't actually looked. It's probably at least upper 80s, I would say. 85. I have not looked at what the temperatures are today. It's actually, it's not horrible in the garage right now, but it is warm still. Definitely could be worse. Well, guys, been on for a decent amount of time. Um, I actually stayed on longer than I was planning. It's almost two hours I've been on. Had an awesome time. You guys kind of got to see a couple of the baits be shot. Um, saw a couple of the mistakes made, 
and you saw some of the good baits. But I hope you had an awesome time. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to get off of here because I need to see who's been trying to call me. But have a great day, everyone. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Forgotten Winter. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you guys all hung out. But you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for joining in. It is all, always a pleasure to have you guys. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Hopefully see you guys all tomorrow with me and Gil clabbing. It will be an awesome time. Talk to you later.